Okay guys, we are back for part two of my hard candy collection. So let's go ahead and get started. First one up is called Candy Coated. And this is an all matte glitter. It's got some white hexes, some black, looks like some black bar glitter and some blue bar glitter glitter and it's all sunk to the bottom here it is on the brush i think this could stand for some thinner or some clear in there just to get it um moving again You all know my feelings toward bar glitter. However, I won't get rid of it until I at least try it. So that was candy coated. Next up is similar. It's got a, I don't know if it bled a little bit or what, but it looks like the base is tinted slightly pink. And I don't know if those are, I think it might've bled because I think these were red. And now they're kind of looking orange. Yeah, they were red because you could see them up at the top of the, the bottle there. So this is actually bled. So this might actually end up on my de-stash list or, I don't know, garbage. <laughs> or Halloween I don't know but yeah that's that sucks when the base bleeds next this one looks like it bled a little too and for the amount that you pay these are four dollars four freaking dollars and they're only 7.8 milliliters so you know you're paying four dollars and they're not even using good glitter I mean that pisses me off but this is a white matte glitter looks like there's some black matte in there some silver metallic some purple and some fuchsia metallic and it's called girl crush in case I did not say that and take that sticker off because it's curling and it's pissing me off so there it is on the brush yeah, I mean, at least if you're going to do glitter and you're going to charge that much for such itty-bitty bottles, make sure you're using good quality glitter. Okay, so that was Girl Crush. My um, China Glaze, that one neon multicolored glitter, that fucking bled. And now I see in the stores that it's a good color, so I don't know... You know, I don't know if I if I mentioned it to China Glaze, if they would send me out a new bottle. But that kind of, like, pisses me off. You know, we all work hard for our money. <laughs> and we're going to get shit in return. This one here is called Party Central. And this one has some metallic blue, silver, like, bronzy color, purple... And then some white matte glitter. Again, I don't buy a lot of hard candies. It really has to catch my eye. And I think I bought a lot of these back when I was first starting to collect, air quotes, polish. <laughs> um, if you take a look at my D-Stash page, well, I don't even know if I'll have that by now. Because I think this will... Film, I'm filming in March. Um, I'm not sure. I know this is going up sometime in August. So I'm trying to get a bunch of videos done because in case you haven't been following me, I have a baby due at the end of May. So I want to get a bunch of videos watched, uploaded, and scheduled, so I don't have to worry about that for you guys, and take another hiatus, so, yeah, so anytime I'm off from work, 
which today I played hooky because my systems aren't working correctly. Anyway, so I figured I'll get a couple videos done. This one here is called King of Pop. And this is a light blue, light green, peachy color, and white matte glitter. All different shapes and sizes. There it is on the brush. Just meant to be a topper. Beautiful spring color. And I actually think I might break this out soon. Again, if you want to see, you're probably going to have to scroll back on my Instagram all the way back to February. Or, I'm sorry, March. Because, like I said, it is March. Next one up is called So So Sequin. And it is a silver... Oh, Maybe a very, very light pink holographic with some blue uh, metallic hexes in there. This one will become opaque on its own. So here is one coat of So So Sequin. As I said in the vi first video, most of hard candy has decent formulas, but sometimes not so much. So This one here is my newest acquisition from hard candy. I kind of picked it up in the store and was like, ooh, I really like that. Reminds me of Colt Nails. Oh, is it Thrive? I don't have it in front of me to pick it out and look. I think it's Thrive. Um... Yeah, I don't have it in front of me. It must be all the way up at the top in my... Yeah, it's up at the top. I can't reach it. So, this one is called Record Breaker. And this is a very light minty green coming up more blue on camera. And it has a beautiful green shimmer. It's kind of like that sh green shimmer that kind of shifts to blue as well. I think in, in the Colt Nails, it's just blue. Here is that brush. Okay, and here is one coat on the swatch. Okay, so that is our one coat. I am going to pause and come back after the second coat, so I will see you in a moment. Okay, back with second coats. Here we have candy coated. Then we have pop rocker, which again, those orange, they are supposed to be red. Here is girl crush. Then we have party central. Here is pop rocker. Oh, sorry, King of Pop. This one is King of Pop. This one here is So So Sequin. And this one is actually So So Pretty. And this one here is called Record Breaker. Okay, so that is my hard candy collection. I will um, be uploading another um, random video. The next one I'm going to show you is five of my Bonitas and I'm actually going to show you a Hits polish. I only have one and it'll be perfect because on that last wheel I have six. So um, I'll be back with the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye guys.